What's going on guys? So today I wanted to make a video on my Asus Strix RTX 3090. So as you know, the RTX 3090, any model, but especially the Asus Strix, even though it is the highest end model, uh, the memory temperatures are very, very high, especially on the backlight. And uh, the main issue is you need to replace the thermal pads, which I did do. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about what you're going to expect after you change the thermal pads. So just as an example here, I'm mining with nice hash and I'm running at 110 mil mega hashes at 299 watts memory temperatures for the past one hour ADC not any higher not any lower GPU core temperature 42.2 C before changing the thermal pads my memory temperature was always between 96 C and up 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 to 98 and even 100 degrees Celsius if I was running higher uh, mega hash and also higher power limit. So let's go to uh, overclock tune. This is what I currently have it at negative 100, 285, or sorry, negative 285 uh, on the core and memory clock, overclock 900 and power limit only 296. So let's go ahead and bump these numbers up. So let's go to 1000 megahertz and let's bring the power limit to uh, 329. Apply overclock. Let's see if that works. I was having some struggles with excavator uh, applying the overclock, but basically, I mean, the point is, you're getting much lower memory temperatures. I did earlier run it at, <clears throat> at 200, or I'm sorry, 320, uh, three watts with a memory overclock of 1,000 megahertz, and then my mega hashes was up to, uh, it was 120, and the temperature was only like 82, 84C. So the point is, it makes a huge difference. Now, I want to talk about some of the things that you'll need. If you don't have the, already the proper uh, tools, I purchased this iFixit kit, which I, I'm sure you, many of you have seen on uh, Jay's Two Cents video, his, like his intro video. We'll talk about how the iFixit kit is so awesome. Like you know, it's it's a really cool, catchy uh, intro thing to has to many of his uh, videos. And so with this kit, you're only gonna have to use uh, this Phillips head, and then this Phillips head to take off the uh, smaller screws on the RTX 3090 AC Strix model. And then there's some Torx screws. You'll use a T6 uh, security bit, which is that one. And that's all you need to, to actually dis disassemble and take apart and uh, replace the thermal pads on the uh, AC Strix RTX 3090. I also bought these, uh, oh, by the way, I got the Amazon. And I'm gonna put all the links to all these items on Amazon. And then I bought some uh, aluminum rulers the reason I went with aluminum is uh, when you're cutting with uh, a cutter, which I this is the, the item I also got on Amazon. I'll also link this in the description. When you cut the thermal pads, uh, you want to use something that's not going to cut, uh, that the blade is not going to cut. So I used aluminum rulers. And the nice thing about these particular ones, which I will link, is they're the exact width of the memory modules on the uh, RTX 3080, 3090. 3070, 3060, so that's kind of nice. It kind of helps you guide uh, in terms of making the correct uh, size for the memory module. So I kind of like that. And you can also use scissors, and I would recommend using scissors, but if you have a really, really good pair of scissors, you could also cut them with that. And I actually did have pretty good luck with that sometimes. So certain items that were uh, really thin, like a, a thickness, like the very thin one, thermal pads, uh, it was actually easier with scissors. Then you want to have a lot of Q-tips, and you want the actual Q-tip brand, not like the cheap ones. These you definitely want to use for cleaning off the uh, GPU core, all the thermal paste, and also the memory modules, and all the little areas where the, the uh, factory thermal paste sticks to it. So you definitely want to have lots of that. And then 91% ISO Pro alcohol, which you can just buy at Walmart. So that's basically the can. You also want a good flashlight. I got this nice bright LED flashlight. So you definitely want to have a flashlight uh, just so you can have good lighting and stuff. So 
that's it for that. And then the thermal pads, I'm also going to link, and I also bought that Amazon also. Basically, all the items that you want to buy, you could buy at Amazon. I'm going to link them all in the video description. And I will talk about the sizes uh, on in the description that you'll need to replace the thermal pads on the AC Strix RTX 39. And I highly recommend taking your time. I've there's a, probably about two or three somewhat decent uh, guides on replacing thermal pads in the ASUS Strix RTX 3090 or 3080, and I've noticed that these people who are making these videos they're kind of rushing. I would say something like this you really really want to take your time. I purposely did not want to make a video of doing the process because I knew that I wanted to really take my time. I mean, ASUS Strix RTX 3090 is like a $2,200 GP right now, retail market, and I really wanted to take my time taking it apart, like the methodical process of uh, getting everything just the way I wanted it to be. So definitely take your time. I would, I actually would not recommend making a video of you doing it, and I purposely didn't do it because I knew it was going to be very difficult to do, and also do it properly without having to worry about you know voice acting and all the other good stuff. So definitely recommend uh, just taking your time. I basically spent half a day taking it apart, cleaning it all up. I uh, made like a guide, like I took a, a cardboard piece. I will show you just as a rough example here. I drew the RTX 3090 Ace District's metal. Just a rough layout and every, and I basically uh, labeled where all the screws go exactly you know each bracket and everything and i measured the memory sizes and stuff so i highly recommend just really taking your time and kind of like being detailed and thorough in your work because this is like a really important situation where you want to get this right the first time you don't want to screw it up and so yeah so let me uh pause the video for one second okay i'm back so this is the only picture i have of the car taken apart this is after i cleaned it all up you know, cleaned off all the remaining uh, factory thermal paste. And then here are all the thermal pads that I use, all the sizes and stuff. And here again was that guide I made of the GPU to kind of guide where all the screws go and stuff. So I highly recommend kind of going all out and doing this so you know exactly where all the screws go. And then on the Amazon page, these are all the um, thermal pads I purchased. So I bought uh, two 80 by 40, two, million, two millimeter thick uh, G-Lid Solutions GP Extreme thermal pads, and I bought two packages of these. This is for the front and rear memory. Now, if you're only doing a 3080, you only need one pack, but I highly recommend getting two or three, and even three if you're doing the 3090, because if you have extras, that always helps in case you make a mistake, and it always helps to have extra um, thermal pads because they're just they're handy uh you know in case you ever have to do the job again or you didn't get proper uh contact the first time and then for uh another thermal pad this is for the i think it was the voltage regulators i went with a 2.5 millimeter thermal right thermal pad now thermal right was the only ones that had a 2.5 millimeter pad so i went with that and then for the uh i think these were other uh voltage caps or something like that on the card and so I went with a uh, one millimeter thickness, uh, two bars of that, and that's for the, uh, I can't remember what they're called, I think they're the chokes or something like that. So I bought two of those, and those are, uh, well, I'll show a link in the description. And then this is the knife I bought for, uh, or the cutting blade uh, that I used to cut the throne pads. And then here's the rulers, which I mentioned, and then there's the iFixit kit. And then just for the heck of it, I ordered another uh, set of uh, thermal pads, just as an extra, in case I need them. And I also uh, ordered the fans, in case I ever need to replace the fans. So just kind of like, it really helps when you kind of, you know, get everything you need to repair if you ever have a fan failure and stuff. And so, yeah, I just wanted to talk about that. And that's basically everything you'll need. And everything that I showed on that clip is going to be here in terms of the tools you need. Obviously alcohol is not really a tool, but it's a product for cleaning. But uh, all the tools and stuff right there in front of you. And then of course you need the thermal pads, which I already mentioned. So highly recommend doing that and taking your time. 
and you'll definitely be satisfied because uh, look at this. I mean, this is 82 low temps. I never even could touch that before at 110, 111 mega hashes. Before it would always be 96 C and up to night up to 100 C if I really you know decide to overclock higher. So very phenomenal gains. Here's all the temperatures, and just to show you that it's a A66 RTX 3090. Your size of bar enabled, and so yeah, definitely highly recommend doing that. Whether you have the 38 ATI or 3090. Oh, and as for the uh, warranty sticker, I found out that <laughs> let me focus here. I found out that if you take a hair dryer and you heat up the sticker that's on the rear uh, X plate, you could heat it up and then you could take a razor blade and take it right off. So I stuck it here on this little empty box of a uh, Claritin, which I don't even, I don't know why I have it in my room, but I just took that out and stuck that there because I figured, uh, yeah, because if I ever want to take it apart again, I could always just, you know, have it off the card and I could obviously reinstall it if I ever need to send it in for warranty. But of course I know now they say that Asus, uh, will still honor the warranty even if you do, uh, tamper with the label because, uh, it would still have a warranty. So I, that's one thing I heard about. Asus, but MSI, not the same case from what I heard. So if you have worries about the warranty sticker, just take a hair dryer, heat it up for about a minute and 10 seconds, and then slowly take your time and you remove that uh, sticker and then you'll get it right off and you won't damage it. So that's about it. So that's what I wanted to talk about. And yeah, definitely highly recommend doing that. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. Thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned uh, for more content. Uh, coming soon. So the next game I'm going to be playing is Horizon Forbidden West on PS5 and that will be coming out next Friday. So there's my PS5 there with the Sony official Midnight Black uh, plates and then the Xbox Series X. So yeah, stay tuned for that. So thanks for watching. I appreciate all the support. May the best be with you all. Stay positive life. Keep doing what you enjoy doing, and I'll see you guys around. Thanks for watching. Peace out, and enjoy the rest of your day.